Um, yeah, so people did ask me why I'm not the part 876 roommates. How am I going to tell you this now? I don't waste no whole heap of time, you know. I just want to answer the question, you know. Like I said, I did, you know, I do some of them talking vlogs, yeah. so if you don't mind them things, then you see me hit the like button and, and them something there. Yeah, and, and subscribe and them thing there. Um, the other day when 876 roommates did go on, is it still going on, by the way? I don't know. I don't know if it's still going on or it's done now. Season 1 done. Um, Because, just like everybody else, me, they kind of get lost after them. Say, oh, you have to pay after them, I give it for free, and then they start to pay. They feel that way. So I lift up. Um, but I go finish what you do. If you still up on YouTube, I go, I go finish take it here. Um, yeah, so people did ask me why I'm not the part 876 roommates. How am I going to tell you this now? No particular reason. There's <laughs> no particular because their thing was um, creators should have sent in a video. And we just never sent in a video. Even though I see people on the show, when I kind of check, I mean, I never really see them sending in a video. Maybe a special invite. Um, but that's, that's, the, that's the main reason behind it. I just never send in a video. Why I never send in a video? On one hand, it be like a vibe where you, you wait for something for so long and then it take long for each and nobody care about it again because a long time I hope somebody would have come up with the idea of creating some type of show that um, put most of the comedians or the social media personalities in a one house and we do them type of thing but eventually it came but when it come it just never have no interest for it again and then on the other hand now I wouldn't say it's, it's a contrast but it's just a different um, feeling of let me just chill and watch what go on for like the first season um, we'll see what it entails what will happen um, and then you have a basic idea of what to look for if you get invited or if you so desire to be on the next season so I that, I that I did my thing it's, it's nothing, um, I think it's a, it's a wonderful idea that they came out with the show my problem either is um and if me did you know if they need to invite me me that share them knowledge with them because me see in the early parts and have a problem with sponsors nowadays when you have a tv show idea you don't have to bring it to um what i'm calling it, sponsors this is why we have platforms like youtube where okay sponsors are gonna be a little iffy but Really and truly, where sponsors care about, you know, they want to say I get eyes and um, their products will be seen um, in front of a certain audience. No matter how ranchy the show might be, you will always find sponsors that fit that type of show, you know. So sometimes it's best for you to just put out the idea without thinking about sponsors. And once your idea is a hit, then you will have sponsors coming on board and if you have the numbers to show that look, listen i am doing these numbers without you guys you know so if you want to come on board you can do so but these are the numbers that i am doing and i'm going to do these numbers if you are here or not so why not just take um but then call it take advantage of the the situation so me would i tell them by 876 roommates if the idea was like you know shared with me before me i say yo listen you see youtube like when I do a YouTube page, make sure I say when I start put out content for drawing people. Once you do that, you're not going to take no time for um, them get the 4,000 watch hours, whatever YouTube little criteria be. Then they can monetize the channel. Once them do that now, when them start put out the episodes, the episodes would have been monetized. And I think the very first one, if in a, if in a day of a million now, we do close to a million. I try to remember. And that would have been a significant amount of revenue for kind of maybe offset some of the costs where them did have. It all depends on CPM and them things. But close to a million and then the other shows that would have followed it would be doing numbers. 
So they wouldn't have to run from YouTube now and kill them momentum when them say people don't have to pay. Cause I think that they, they, they kind of take away from the whole viewership when people hear say oh them did have to pay because truth and in fact most Jamaicans we don't really understand the idea of paying for like subscriptions and them thing there. Uh, just uh, just how we're cultured and how we're grown. The newer generation might be more um, prone to do them thing there. So the the ones that are coming up now them know about all the Spotify and all of them something that we have to pay a little thing sometime. So the generation after after maybe after us. Them, them, them will probably pay for them something. But then everybody, it's not something that's a part of our culture in Jamaica. We pay for subscriptions. So this of them, did, they, they, the viewers, them did kind of take with themselves. So if them did have YouTube now and it was monetized before them started doing everything, it would have kind of offset some of the costs where them would have to worry about in terms of um, getting sponsors. Because if it, if it was my idea and I have the bank to do it, Without thinking about sponsors, Muda do it. And then, when you do a certain amount of numbers upon your first season, it gives you leverage. If you go to the big TV corporations, um, or our local TV stations, maybe bring it to something like uh, Netflix. When you do a certain amount of numbers and you show them, and them say, okay, all right, we're willing to put this budget behind it and make it even a bigger thing. Hopefully, Hopefully that's what I think for the next season and them can step up to some or some other companies we see it. But not just any company, because you know certain certain companies whenever them come on board, it becomes it, it water them. After a while it, it water them and then you know I get the same type of feel from it because one of the selling points of this show was the man them basically did just a bit themselves, you know. Regardless of the controversy and all of them something. That's what sells reality shows. So whenever you are going to a reality show, you know say so you have to have um, some type of mix up. But the man them just did a bit himself and people did like that. People like the idea. Jamaican people especially like to see representation of ourselves. Um whether upon a big big screen like movies or upon TV shows, we love to see ourselves get represented. Uh, represented and in a day um, reality show genre it was a nice little thing especially for YouTube they were free yeah man people are gonna watch it I don't know if I've gone too far off or if I don't, I don't agree with what I say but um, but they just want to tell you why I'm in the on the show still but hopefully in the future you know seeing what I say right now hopefully in the future you might see me in a season I don't know it all depends on vibe and if everything is right and all them something and i hope that somebody from 876 roommates see this and you know take in some of the things that we may, we may say and um apply it to like uh future seasons so if you answer the question there that's how i'm in the body for 876 roommate i'm gonna finish my little chores now a supermarket man but you want to pick up some people but me never get the name of them before me come out of the house we're coming from the, like, the, the last video it's a little thing I can do now just shout out the people that are coming from the last video so if you're coming from the video here look for your shout out in the next video I try to shout out as much people when I go back home I go look for the, all the did comment and big them up alright what else? I think, I think I said most of what I wanted to say uh, look at more <laughs> From the noir, the noir, you know, famous background there, right? That's like, hey, ah, ah. um, but they telling us, I'm big up some people who comment, um, on the last vlog. I mean, I look on it, I realize it wasn't a whole leap, so I can do everybody with it. So, I've said big up to, all right, let me turn the phone down. Phone, work with me, work with me, work, work with me, Zine. Phone, now work with me. I don't know why I turn off rotation, but see it here now. Big up to Lesa, Bella, Bella, Bless? Yo, she has said we full joy of blogs, them, you know. Yeah, man, bless up yourself, Bella, Bella. Uh, Chinora White, bless up yourself too, you know. Ken Rai, Ken Rai, say hearing from you is good enough. Cause you know sometimes people just them some you have different different people, you know. People just want entertainment right through and all them little things there. Um, but a regular life me live, me not live no hype life until me start do things for Uno, you know? 
So big up yourself again, Ken Rai, Cameron. A legendary lifestyle. Make sure you stay safe. Yeah, man, you stay safe to you in a boss. Yeah, man. And blessings and respect for you. Appreciate the jokes that I'm throw across more while, you know? Camilla says, more vlogs. Yeah, man, may, may, may I start the more vlogs? I even even if I, I just be talk to you sometime about certain like things, you know? Voice my opinion. I know so. Now that my sister will not mind them, I just, I just do them. Yeah, man. So more vlog, more vlogs are come, um, Camilla. Cam Camilla. I hope I say your name right. Big up yourself. Um, who else we got there, so? Rodriff. Big up yourself, Rodriff Thomas. The man say, I wish a bush me go live in here. <laughs> it was a game scene I did that far. It just looked like me I drive here a long time. You know that? I be like, but honestly, if me that clap it, it's so about 15 minutes away from KFC. But I never did that drive fast, isn't me? Um, simple discoveries. I mean, my know she's still there. So I'm put out the vlog. Then big up yourself. I'm going to do that. Um, Leo Sadra. Yo, me G. Get a barbecue zinger for me. Large fries and soda. I've, you, you know, so when me in another vlog, then I want barbecue zinger. Me go get. Me get some other things to you know, but me definitely want to mash down a barbecue zinger. So bless up yourself again. I would have. La Lying. Hold on, so let me say a while ago. Alright. <laughs> Big up yourself, lying. And then why, why, why the next one? OP. OP said just go on meds pan it. I don't, I don't know what you mean, OP, but yeah. And Duana Mullings first, finally. You win! Bless up again. Kaylee and Mackenzie with the two of yeah, them. But Kaylee had to look if, if nobody else over here. That's, that's why you have two of yeah. And then we have Kedge Ashley who said, Up. Them and bless up everybody who comment on the last vlog. And all that people that comment on this, or most of the people that comment on this, make a show to know, big enough in our next vlog. So drop a comment below, you know? Alright? And um, yeah, I'm gonna go and tune in while I do the vlogs them for you. Mm-hmm.